uh, before we uh, load up, we've got to do uh, some, some, let's say, housekeeping first before, before this goes in there. All right, here this is. And, uh, by the way, thanks for watching the video. I hope you're liking the channel. Please, uh, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for the support. Appreciate it. All the products I use and recommend are listed in the links in the description box below. So have at it down there. And uh, in this video, we're obviously talking about top travel tips. So stay to the end because you're gonna see some cool things along the way and hopefully learn some, you know, travel do's and don'ts when you're planning your golf getaway or in the midst of it. And also comment down below, let me know what I missed and what you like to do, things you do and on your golf trips that really helps out. The first thing I do as I go through my golf bag. And I uh, start just taking out everything I don't need, okay? Because you have a lot of stuff in here and a lot of it you might not need as you go. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put everything in a little in a little bag, just roll that up. It's gonna keep it organized, okay? So I got that little bag. Then I'm gonna take all the gloves that I want. These are rain gloves, so that's good. Here's a glove uh, that I've used. That's a regular glove. Those are gonna go in their own little baggie. It's a larger Ziploc bag, it's an old one. Put it in, love it. And then these go in another Ziploc bag. So, Right there, okay? Gotta keep things um, dry and protected, that's good. And then the cool thing about this is you never know when you're gonna need extra weather protection for whatever. So I put everything in Ziploc bags. I'm, I'm also gonna bring a few more gloves. So I got weather gloves, rain gloves, got all my gloves right here. And then I have extra Ziploc bags that I'm gonna bring. Okay, some little guys and some bigger guys for whatever. You never know when you need those. And then uh, we're playing like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six rounds of golf. Don't know how many balls I will need. I've got what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Two dozen. This should be good. Okay, two dozen. So I bring uh, two dozen balls. Okay, those are gonna go in. Moving on. All right, next tip. Here's what I want. You've got to um, determine which equipment you're gonna need and load it in your bag. So I'm going Titleist TSI-3. Uh, review coming. So hang tight for that puppy. Beautiful. Okay, so I've got, uh, I'm just gonna go, I've got a full Titleist set up here. So we're good to go there. Um, going all this stuff, iron, good. Just double check your equipment. Make sure all your gear is uh, is here, okay? So that's the next step. Review your gear, got the gear, got everything, and I'm setting it all just here so I know it has to go in the case. I am going to bring an umbrella. This is just a uh, pretty good, not the full giant guy, but uh, just in case we need it for some strange reason. Yeah, it's probably gonna rain. Got that, okay. My rain gear is here. I want that with my golf equipment. So uh, rain jacket here, pants here. So my rain gear is all good to go. I'm gonna roll that up and it gets, it gets a Ziploc baggie as well. Then I have um, under, not under, underwear, but under stuff like Under Armour things like a long sleeve guy, a uh, long pant, and a thicker long pant. Just in case it gets cold, it goes underneath your clothing. I'm gonna roll that up. So I'm gonna keep that right here, okay? Because what I'm doing is, what I wanna do is now that I have all my clothing and stuff, I'm protecting my clubs, the tops of my clubs. So I'm wrapping the underwear stuff up on top here, I'm getting my towel, dirty old towel, and I'm gonna put it in here as well. Just kind of wrap it up here. Boom. 
And I'm going to get one more towel. Okay. Just put it on there to protect, hopefully, your clubs from getting damaged in transit. You never know what could happen. And they make little tops you could put on here to protect the top or cover. Uh, those are good ideas too. I don't have one, so we're going to go without. Just kind of wrap it up best you can, protect it from the airlines as you go. Next tip. Uh, if you're using a range finder that needs to be charged up, USB, charge it up before you go. Okay. They'll, it'll last for weeks, months, but if you don't charge it and you just leave it on your bag and you don't have your charger with you and you, it, it, inevitably it'll be out by the time you show up to wherever you're going. So give it a full charge before you go, pack it up, and you're good to rock and roll. Oh, I'm using the uh, Voice Caddy GL1. It's got a little GPS on here, so it gives you the yardage, slope, pin, and then it'll give you other numbers for like where bunkers are, front and back, and side. It's pretty cool. So it syncs up to the the GPS, you know, satellite positioning globally thing. Uh, anyways, in case you were wondering, that's what we're going with. And it should be good. I don't need a charger, most likely. If it runs out now, then it's just a bad thing. But we should be good. Um, make sure your info is on your clubs. So, put mine on the other side. But this is to identify my bag versus everybody else's key piece of the puzzle here. Also, maybe put a little tie on the handle or something, just to identify it as it sits there. Do you know what? Someone jacking your clubs. Okay, we're ready to uh, put in. This is the Sun Mountain. This is the uh, Club Glider Pro travel bag. You can put a staff bag in this thing and you're good. Or two of these, but we just have one. All right, drop it in. There are clips inside here to, um, Strap down your back, okay? So clip it on, you know, fasten that puppy down right there. There's one up here, and there's one down here as well. This has uh, pockets in here too. I'm gonna put the uh, rain gear in here. Oh, okay, uh, this one's cool. It's got the, um, the wheels on the bottom. You can just wheel it kind of through the airport. Pretty cool. Okay, um, you could lock it. You might run into issues with the uh, TSA check in the bag. You're gonna have to uh, check with your local airlines regarding that. Um, so you might uh, you might want to consider that. Also, um, next tip is this. All right. Next step, you probably you probably know this one, but you're gonna want to weigh your bag. So weigh myself first. Woo! Then uh, and then get the bag. All right. Here we go. Forty-one loves, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So uh, usually it's like fifty pounds, and you're good. So soft top case, clubs, all that. I got forty-one. I got. I can load up with like nine more pounds of stuff. So what I like to do though, is keep that a little lighter in case I buy any stuff while I'm there. So there's like two tips in one. Weigh it, make sure you have room in your case for uh, souvenirs, like clothing souvenirs, okay? You can put them in your other bag, but you wanna have weight all over the place because the more valuable stuff you buy, what you're gonna do, you're gonna wanna have in your either your carry-on or your checked bags in a different, you know, something besides this. All right, let's move on. Okay, so here's your bag, you're good to go. It's so easy for someone to just do this and walk out of there with my uh, TSI brand new driver. They're not even on the market yet. Okay, so I was thinking about it and I think it's a very good idea to uh, have some type of locking uh, thingamabob on here so you can do one of these locks 
This guy is pretty good. And then, or this guy. This one should be cool, but you never know. Straps right on, locks right in. They can still get in there. Okay. So this one's cool and all, but you could still, you could still fish your way a uh, driver if you really wanted to. So I'm gonna go with this guy then. Lock it down. Just make sure you don't lose your key and keep it on you at all times. I'll keep it in my carry-on as I go. Onward. All right, next tip. Um, when you go, because you have your golf clubs, probably another check bag and your carry-on, you gotta give yourself a little extra time than normal. Plus with everything going on in this world, uh, you need a little extra more time on top of that. And then we have uh, Mrs. Short Game driving me to the airport. She did not want to do that, by the way. Make her, make your missus drive you because it's, you know, you gotta spend a little extra time together. Uh, and she wanted me to take a like $100 shuttle. I said, no. You're my shuttle, so do it. Don't let me get out of it. She wants to like hang out, like goof around all day. It's not gonna happen. Drive, drive Mr. Short Game to the airport. Got it? Next tip. Next tip is a game. It's a, it's a, it is a must. Otherwise you are in big trouble. Isn't that right? Yes. All right, next tip, and this is not just for golf tips, but for any travel tips is this, when you're going to the airport, what, what you're gonna need is some type of way to protect your identity. So one way is uh, your uh, your wallet. This is the um, Exter, Exter wallet. I'll leave a link in the description below for this. Here's what's cool, you got this little guy, boom. So it shoots out your cards in like a little array quick switch blade thing. But what's really great about this is this little plate here on the back. This is an RIFD, RIFD um, blocking or plate. And so it protects you against data scammers. Somebody rolls up next to you and just runs their little scanner near you and it sucks out your uh, card information and all your data. Well, that little um, backing plate protects you from them protects your identity, protects your stuff so they don't steal you and your things. Next thing I know, some dude shows up at my house, pretends he's me, tries to steal Mrs. Short Game from me. I mean, messed up, all because you didn't protect yourself. So protect yourself when you're traveling. Uh, link in the description below for uh, this little wallet guy. It's pretty cool. Thin profile, Exter, Exter, e I can't pronounce it, but Exter. And then you got the, uh, the bungee here for your uh, your cashola. I have no cashola, but if you do, and this is cool. Right? My stuff won't fly out until you do the thing. Boink. All right. One more tip for you. Sort one one and a half more tips for you. Let's go. So, um, quick story. My buddy invited me to a charity scramble tournament. You know those things, and uh, I couldn't make it. Make it. It was a while back, and he said, "Hey, Matt, how about this guy?" Uh, I'm like, yeah, he's a good player. I mean, you, you should get him. And he's like, Matt, it's you know those charity things. They're like five, six hour rounds, then dinner, two hours plus or whatever. Like, is he cool? I'm like, ah, oh, he's cool. And he's like, no, no, Matt, is he eight hours cool? And I'm like, uh, you might want to get someone else. So on your trip, one of the tips is find someone who's eight hours cool. Who do we got with us? Oh, the man himself, Mr. Golfholics. Eight hours cool at least. I appreciate that intro. That was very nice of you. It's a great start to the trip. We got a lot of golf planned on this trip. We got Whistling Straits, we got Aaron Hills, we got Cog Hill. Uh, it's just gonna be an awesome trip. Uh, this is our second trip together, so we end up traveling pretty well and uh, always have a good time. Bam, so uh, he's eight hours cool. His channel is more than eight hours cool, so be sure to follow Golfholics. Those are your tips for uh, traveling, golf travel and style. And uh, love you guys. Stay tuned for the videos. We're gonna blow you away. See you. See you soon. <laughs>